Well, I suppose you've got, you're investing in two categories of assets. So you've got the real estate component where you've got the real estate investment yield and you, you're, you've got the cash flow from the business, the EBITDA, which you're trying to improve by increasing revenue, reducing expenses, economies of scale through aggregating portfolios. And then hopefully at the, if you exit at the appropriate time, you get a multiply on the EBITDA. So it, it needs an additional component of skills to understand the dynamics of the business. This is why a lot of funds will JV those sorts of deals if they don't have the in-house expertise with an operating partner who is a specialist in that sector who normally puts in, say, 5%, 10% of the equity. And there's a, a normally a sort of waterfall to deal with the various economic returns as to how those those are paid out. So, so I mean, we, we certainly see, I mean, similarly, we're seeing a lot of, um, you know, a, a view that there's increasing cash being allocated to property and, and certainly um, still quite a lot of focus on, on those sort of business related issues. I mean, from a, from a legal liability perspective, it, it raises a, another issue in terms of like director liability. For example, you're director of an operating company that's a, of a hotel and there's a fire and people are killed overnight, then there's a sensitivity there for guys who normally invest in real estate as to how they manage that exposure to ensure there could be no potential liability and there's all potential reputational issues, etc. But, I mean, that's all sort of hardwired into the process. So uh, but we certainly see uh, a lot of interest in that. I mean, from a, from a pricing point of view, I mean, there's, there's a number of people who, having bought those sort of portfolios to... Two, two and a half years ago, are now so-called monetizing them, I trying to exit them. And that's been probably a slightly more complicated process than was originally anticipated, uh, partly because private equity funds don't like buying from other private equity funds, uh, but also because of this, these wider systemic concerns about the market. When, <laughs> when, when things come on the market, we, we tend to find now that private equity funds aren't competitive. So you're really selling into a slightly different market, which may have a different basis of pricing, but then you need a sort of sort of product that is appropriate for that market. So if you want to sell into the Chinese market, it's got to work for that sort of investor. Uh, 